I'm going to show you a great resource for 3D models, mainly for printing, but they could be used in your 3D scenes as well. Welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott, and today I'm looking at the website Thangs. If you want to know more, then do follow the links in the description. Do also check out the playlists on this channel and my website for more great content. So Thangs reached out to me recently and asked if I could promote their site. I took a look and thought it was pretty good, so why not? It's important to say that they are sponsoring me to raise awareness, so bear that in mind, but I think it's a great resource with some excellent features, so I'm happy to promote them and hopefully this info will be useful to you too. So Thangs is a site with around 2.5 million models in their database. It's got an interesting search function so you can find objects based on other objects. So you can upload a model and find similar models. And apparently you can have a half completed model and find things that are similar. You can like other people's work and put it into a portfolio. You can preview the model in 3D. You can collaborate on models with other people and you can highlight and isolate different parts of the model as well. And they've also got lots of things coming in the future. So I would certainly suggest taking a look at the site. So let's take a look at setting up your own portfolio and downloading models. I'm logged in at the moment and you can go to view my things or your public portfolio, models shared with you and you're liked. I'll go to my public portfolio so you can see what you can download from me. I've got three things up there at the moment, but I'll quickly show you how easy it is to upload. Just click on the upload button. I've got a cool toadstool character here that I can drag and drop. I'm not sure how well this will print and I've still got to test it out, but maybe someone out there can test it out for me. So continue, type in some details. You have got license options and you can actually attach your own license if you want to. Quick description in here. You can leave these things blank, but obviously fill them in if you know. And I would say it comes under characters and then submit. It is a pretty quick process. Obviously you have to wait for the upload and then we can view model. And here he comes, looking good. So you can view your models in 3D like this. You can obviously change your color to see what it would come out with, with different filaments. You can change your orientation here. Oh, I put it the wrong way around. <laughs> it has got an X-ray mode. I'm not particularly sure how helpful that is because I think the general 3D shaded mode is just as good. But if you've got more complex objects, I think that helps a bit more. You've got an option to download augmented reality, which you can do on your phone without any separate apps. You can share your models. So it's all useful stuff. Let's go back to my portfolio and I'll show you the other things on there. I'll just refresh that because it should come up now. There he is, the Toadstool character. Not sure why my previews aren't working on these, but here's the wolf one here. Now for all these models, there are tutorials, so do check them out if you want to learn how to sculpt these things. And this one I take from Sculpt to 3D Printing. So I have checked this one, this wolf model, and it prints out really nicely. I've also got a low poly barrel here I don't know how useful that will be, maybe as a game object. And my sculpted barrel, which is a little bit nicer. And I've chopped off the bottom. Hopefully that will print out okay. But again, I still need to try this one. So let's take a look at what models other people have put on the site. Let's just go to the front page of Thangs. There's some exceptional models here. Look at this Harley Davidson, for example. Now this gives me a chance to actually show off some of the other things that are available with Thangs. I can actually click on different elements and you can see them being highlighted as I hover over them. You've got an explode option as well. That makes it a little bit easier actually to see what's going on and I can use the wheel of my mouse to come to all these different parts. So it's got some really clever features there and being able to break it down like this is extremely helpful. And that brings me on to the collaboration side of things as well. You can collaborate with other people. I've not done that myself, but you can imagine for a model like this, how useful it would be to view it and work as part of a team on the different aspects. I think in the future that Thangs are also launching a 3D visual revision control system. So they're going to have about 20 different 3D formats, including things like assemblies. And apparently it will behave similar to something like GitHub for geometric models. So you'll have sort of visual differences and version history, and you'll have branches and merge style workflows, issue trackers, and you can have a private or public repos, which I think they're calling workspaces. It's all pretty clever stuff. What about a general search then? Well, I like miniatures, so you can see some of my searches here. Well, I really like the idea of being able to print out miniatures for Warhammer and, and tabletop gaming. So I've searched for an orc and an elf. Let's try an ogre this time. Now this is where it gets interesting because the search feature not only searches on Thangs, but also 3D models from lots of different sites. So if I take you to this one, 
a nice 3D model, but we're now on free 3D. And unfortunately it doesn't have the same functionality, so I can't see anything to do with this model except from this one angle, which kind of shows how nice the Thangs website is. But it's great that you're able to search all these sites for 3D models on one platform like Thangs. Let's go back and you can see that there is an actual Thangs model here. So if I go into that, we've got all the features and things we need for our Ogre model here. And this one's got different parts. Pretty impressive stuff for a free model. And if I take you back to the search, we can see that that actually came up third. So it's not prioritizing Thangs models. It's just giving you what it feels is the most relevant for your search. So I'm on best match. You can obviously stick to Thangs if you want to and it gives you external as an option there as well. So the other thing we can do with the search is we can take models we've already got. So if I click this button here, which is upload a model to search, I've got a model I downloaded from the site, this Iron Man model here. I can drag and drop that in and it will actually search for models that are similar to this. So as you'd expect, it came up with the same model, which I think is this one here, but it's also got other versions of this model on here as well. So if you've got a part to a model, it will find that, and it finds things that are very closely related. Also, when I click on the actual model, and let's scroll down a bit, you do have a section here geometrically related to Iron Man, and although there's no models here yet, you often get similar models turn up here. Here's an R2-D2 model that actually has related geometry down the bottom here. I'm not sure how they find these particular models and how they relate, it could be perhaps in the description or the name as well as the geometry itself. But you can see they've got a fair few there, some more closely related than others. Now most of the time these are SDL files and you can bring them into your Blender project, mess about with them, add them to your scenes and render them out nice and easily. So it's a great resource for not only 3D printing but 3D models in general. So to sum up, I'm pretty happy that Thangs have asked me to promote them because it's very easy to promote something that's cool like this. Thanks Thangs for a wonderful site and your support to my channel, and thank you for watching.